So this pond that I haven't fished in a very long time, I loved fishing this place. It looks to seem as if they're actually draining it, which is a very sad sight. They knocked down a bunch of trees over there. I actually haven't been over in that area. Right here, as you guys can tell, the lake is way down. You got some little pipes over here. You got this bridge, which I can actually show you where the water was. A second ago, I actually saw like a wake in this little tiny puddle right here. There might be some fish trapped in there. If you guys want to see me come back for another episode and rescue all the fish out of here and relocate them to another pond, let me know. Comes over to a bridge. As you guys can tell, that's about, you know, I'd say five foot drop right there from where the water used to be. That is just so sad that this pond is being drained. I had a lot of great memories out here. There's only one thing that we can really do about this is to try to help the fish out if they're actually really draining this, which I don't know what, why else the water would be this low. Like I said, I haven't been home in like two months. To come and see this is just heartbreaking. If you guys are new to the channel though, please hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell also, hit the like button. Let's go ahead and head down this way. You guys are going to be amazed with what you see. This is just crazy to me. There's a lot of fish I used to catch down here from three to four pound range, a bunch of big ones. They seem to be condensed in this back pocket. Look what it looks like now. So this is the other side of the bridge. Leaks right in here and, and right there, I don't know if you can see it, that's actually land, but the pond goes even further. This is where everything gets really interesting. There's another like little culvert, little pipe over there. As you can tell, the water is just obviously like chocolate milk because of all, obviously all the water movement. Right here, they knocked down all the trees, literally all the trees. You can see a big pile right there. It seems as if they're trying to build houses right here. And uh, that's why I think is their whole reason they're gonna build a ton of houses over there. They're gonna patch this over, build houses on top of this. So this is actually where I used to catch a bunch of big fish. If I have some clips, I'll place some clips back. Oh, I hooked you in the nose, buddy. My bad. It's dark too. Even though we're not getting many bites, you got you a few really good ones. But yeah, there used to be water right here. A ton of fish used to hang around this little island. There's a small little culvert pipe right there. And as you guys can tell, there's just a tiny bit. We'll zoom in here. Just a tiny bit of water flow going back in the pond. Same way with over here. It's just sad to see this. This is all land. So pretty much what happened, look at that. Something just moved right there. Something literally just moved it. 99% sure that was a fish. So this was a prime area for me to catch a bunch of big fish. It splits this in half. This water does not connect anymore. The fish that are on this side got trapped over here. The fish that were on the smaller pocket side got trapped over here. I think what we're gonna do is go ahead and get our baits and try to go fishing. Um, I don't know if the fish are gonna bite just because of this drastic change. I mean, this is a big change. You know, obviously the pressure's higher today. I don't know if the fishing was gonna be good even if we're fishing a place that's not like this. Um, but with the water movement, with the water just getting so murky, with some of the rain flow that we had, with them possibly draining the water out of this, which is what it looks like, in my opinion. I haven't seen any evidence that that's what they're doing, but come on guys, it looks like they're draining this pond. So we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna tie some baits on. I think I'm gonna start off with the top water. We're gonna fish over here, see if we can catch some fish. What you doing? Uh, just got through airport security, six years old. Um, so there are yeah, I'm literally just sitting here at the gate. All right, FaceTime me for two seconds. So this is like just another pocket, and it was always like a foot of water here, but it dried up. So I'm sure a bunch of fish. I saw a big one swim off the bank here. This is where I used to catch all the big ones. I don't know if you see that. There's a big wake back there. I got this little tiny movement 80 wake bait by six cents on. I don't know. I just kind of want to try it. It's super shallow, and I was just thinking, you know, maybe if this thing crawls over one's head, we could get some sick topwater blowups. But every time I fish this pond, a majority of the bigger fish, like I catch a ton over on this side, but I feel like the bigger ones were right here where the shallow water area is leaked into this pocket. There's a big wake off that bank too. Um, so I think there's gonna be, you know, a bunch of fish trapped in this little tiny side. really got to play this right as in walking up on these spots that's a big thing oh my god something just wake behind me come on hit it baby we need to stay off these spots as much as possible there we go oh my god 
Let's go. <laughs> That's my first topwater fish in Georgia this year. Oh my God, that is exciting. I'm gonna be honest with you. I wasn't even looking at the blow up. I was looking at my camera. That is just a fat, chunky, pound and a half fish right there in this little drain pond. But that is a freaking pretty little bass. You can tell by the color of them with this water. Oh man, that's crazy right there. Little baby, pound and a half. Or he is fat though, he's got a little tummy on him. His, he looks like he's been caught before. We're gonna get you back in the water, buddy. We're gonna see if we can catch another one. I would release him over here so I don't walk on this bank, but I don't wanna release him in this suit. I know he could get back, but I just I'm gonna toss him right over here. And I'm not gonna walk all the way down. This is some muddy, like slippery stuff. So I'm just gonna give him a little toss. Beautiful fish, about a pound. Thank you, buddy. Man, this is crazy. I really wish we could have saved that fish and like relocated him to another pond. But the problem is I don't have like an aerator or a cooler um, or like a bucket or anything that I could transfer this fish. One thing I would like to say, if you guys want to see me come back here and do like a fish rescue, like actually catch some of these fish and relocate them to another pond, please hit that like button. Let me know that you guys want to see that. Either way, I think I'm going to do it. But if you guys want me to film it and that's something that you guys would like to watch, make sure you hit the like button, leave a comment below and uh, let me know. And of course, if you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button. But let's go ahead and get this started. Um, man, I'm, I'm just kind of in disbelief. This is just crazy. I love this pond. This was one of my favorite ponds ever. I hate when this happens, but you know, when stuff happens in life, you got to adjust. I think maybe the right situation would be to, you know, save some of these fish and relocate them to another pond. But we'll do that another day. Just let me know. Let's get it, guys. That is freaking awesome for the first fish today. That was freaking awesome. I wish I got to see that top water blow up. I was looking in my camera and I was just watching through my camera to see if it was recording. And right when I looked down, I just had a feeling that that was going to happen. He slammed it. That looks money. Come on, baby. The thing is when you throw parallel to a bank, one thing is you can you can be in that strike zone. If there's a fish five foot off the bank, you're covering that strike zone the whole way. But another thing to think about is right now with this pond draining, there's not as much water in it. And if a fish is gonna be able to pin a bait fish anywhere, it's gonna be right along the bank. So, you know, they can come right here, say they're in the deeper water and boom, attacked, attack right from the right hand side or the left hand side of the bait. But that is something to think about if you ever get to fish a place like this. Like I said, I don't, I don't know if a lot of you guys would have anything like this near you, but just the thought that the fish could ambush the bait a little bit more easier if it's along the shore right there and being in that strike zone would be very important. Oh, look at that. Some just knocked bait fish on the bank. Get ready, get ready. I need to be a little bit closer to the bank right there. But those fish, those little bait fish just got knocked up exactly what I was talking about a moment ago. These fish will ambush the bait fish because they can't go anywhere. They're on the bank. And that's what just happened. Let's see if we can, come on. Oh my God, my bait's messed up. First cast where my bait, or oh, there you go, there you go. So we're going to be cutting this bad boy off we're actually going to put this lipless crankbait on down here and let's see if we can catch a fish on it. This is going to be pretty crazy and not going to lie. I'm excited. We're going to give it a shot. This is actually the big Quake by Six Sense. It's the bigger one so it's a lot heavier. I'm a little worried about that but I think we'll be all right. So we're going to cut this wake bait off, tie this bad boy on try to catch a fish this is going to put off a lot of vibration also with the red body color it's going to show up in this murky water a lot better so let's give it a shot oh my god look at that look at that look at that did you guys see that right there there's a fish he just swam from inside this little tiny puddle out into the bigger part i literally just watched his whole body right there swim out of here 
wow so that was a fish that was inside of this he decided to cross right there where it's about three to four inches of water back into this place that was crazy man if i would have my top water right there let's uh let's get the cast in let's see if we can catch him on a lipless Oh my gosh, why, why would I hook set like that with my GoPro? Why would I hook, I, I never do that. That was like some newbie mistakes on Noah's part. That was so stupid. That was actually a fish too and he actually did not feel bad. He freaking had it. For some reason I decided to slam the back of my rod into my GoPro. <laughs> that was literally like a, like a starter fisherman with a GoPro chest cam mistakes right there. That's why, you know, usually on crankbaits, you can go to the side which anything troubles and <laughs> that's what i was trying to do there i usually go up just because of the chest cam dang that was stupid oh ooh, there's one behind me one behind me 100 percent. why didn't you eat it come on oh god that's annoying that is annoying there might be a bunch of fish in this big part it's probably where a majority of them are holy cow Right here, come on. Let's get it. Oh, ooh, ooh, ooh. I don't know if that was a bait fish at me or a fish. You could probably see my rod and the splash. That looked like a bait fish, but it felt like a bite and my rod just went thong. Everything's like trapped, guys. This is crazy. I wonder how many fish have actually like died off from this. We have not fished this big part yet. And for, for the first couple of casts, we're seeing a lot. Let me tell you that. It's just a matter of fact that they're gonna bite or not. Well, I think it's about that time. We're gonna go back to the car and we're gonna rig up something that we can possibly catch these fish on. Like I said, a lot of pressure and I just don't think they're wanting to bite something moving. So we're gonna go back and we're gonna put on like some type of worm or something that we can work on the bottom a little bit more slow. And I uh, see if we can target those areas that I used to catch the fish in before, like those little deep holes, those little crevices, and see if there's a bunch of fish stacked up and that we can catch. So I got some slow moving baits for us to try. We're gonna put them on weightless. Uh, we'll cut this off, put these on. But one thing I noticed, they are draining this pond, guys. You see this? You hear that noise in the background? They're draining this sucker. They're draining it. I mean, that's what I already pretty much thought, but I didn't see anything like this um, until I was over on this side of the place. And that's them right there. This 100% proof they're draining this thing right here. Man, that sucks. But I mean, what we can do is we'll definitely, we're coming back and we're gonna save these fish. We're doing that 100%, but yeah, they're, they're freaking pumping the water right there. I, don't, I wonder how many days is it gonna last? Comment below, let me know so I, so I know how much of a time crunch I'm on, because I think it's gonna rain tomorrow. How long does it take for them to usually drain a place like this? They've already drained it a good bit. I'm scared that if I wait, you know, just a couple days, it might be too late. So let me know in the comment section down below. Wide gap hooks by six cents. Black and red, Ultra Vibe Speed Crawl. I actually brought some Stroker Crawls out as well in black and blue, just in case I can't cast this guy far enough. That was my only thing, but I saw these in my car and I was like, you know what, if these bass are finicky, this might be a good route to go. There's a little worm and this color is just perfect and it also has some vibration from the tail. So I was like, you know what, that might be what we need to be throwing. All right, not bad. Big backlash, which I haven't backlash in literally months. What are you doing, Noah? You backlashing? Let's catch fish. I think this is gonna be freaking gold, man. I think we're gonna catch them. If we can get it out to where they're just hunkered down, we're gonna catch them. I'm just trying not to freaking destroy my shoes. Oh my God. Whew. All right, I have an idea. Let's throw a few casts right here for a minute and then we're gonna, we're gonna figure out how to get over there. Freaking muddy as all could be. It's gonna rain tomorrow too, that is not gonna help. I think reeling this worm almost. Look at that right there. Golly. You can literally see the wake. It's, it must be way shallower than I think out there. I mean, it's gotta be freaking way shallower than what I think.
All right, now we made it to where they're pumping the water out at. This, there might be some, I, I don't know. I never like fish one where they're actively draining. I fished one before they were draining it. But I've never fished one as they're like actively pulling this water out. Correct me if I'm right or wrong. I don't know if anybody really knows the definite answer of this, but I actually take back my decision on thinking there might be fish over here where they're pumping out the water. I mean, let's just think about it. Think about that loud noise and the vibration that that's putting off in the water. That's making these fish super stressed out. I mean, think about it. Between the water change, between them pumping all the water out, between the vibration of that, between the people cutting down trees on the bank, between the pressure that's already high today from the weather, are you kidding me, dude? These fish aren't gonna bite. Like, let's just think about it. There's so many different key factors to why these fish aren't eating right now. But um, we're gonna keep trying. I think, you know, we, we might be able to catch one out here in some of these deeper holes. I've seen some activity. We're gonna keep on trying. Oh, oh, oh. What? Oh, this pro T high is so sensitive. I felt the slightest boom just like that. Almost felt like a bait fish hit it. Interesting right there. Could have been a bass. Maybe they're just that finicky. Maybe it was just the luck of the draw. I caught that one on top water earlier. I don't know. Oh, that was a huge wake of a fish eating something right to the left of me. Oh, wow. It's like they'll come up, just start eating bait. You can see the streak of, off their back at the top of the water. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Wait, I see another fish, though. That fish is hammering me right at the bank. And I wasn't paying attention. Are you kidding me? Hold on. I just saw a fish right here. One just literally tried to nail me right there. Oh my God, I wasn't. So what happened is I started reeling in my bait like this. One came out of nowhere and hit it at the bank, but I had my eyes on another fish. So I just like totally disregarded that. My bait. Are you kidding me? Gosh. Make sure you guys always pick up your trash. Let's throw it back in here. We're gonna stay low. I don't wanna spook this fish. Oh my God. They're not getting it all the way. They're right there on the edge though. Well, there's not many times that you see on a kick in the bass video where I'm just gonna leave you guys off on catching one fish, but let's think about it this way. I think everything happens for a reason and I really want to come back and take these fish out of the pond. If you think about it, if we catch one today and release it back in, he's probably not going to bite tomorrow or the next day or the next day. He's probably not going to bite. So it's probably a good thing that we only caught one of those fish. Like I said, if you guys want to see that video of me rescuing all the fish out of here and relocating them to another pond, make sure you hit that like button. Let me know in the comment section down below. Please hit that subscribe button and I love you guys so much. We'll catch you at the next episode.